What's going on guys? So I got another tip video for you this week and thank all of you that liked my last video. Because of that, it seems like you guys like these tutorial, these guide videos. I'm going to keep doing this every week. I'll put out like a short video with like one tip and we'll keep building them up because I know you don't like watching long videos. So let's get straight to the point. So in the comments of the last video, something that was talked about a lot was why do pro drivers double shift up out of exit? So you're in first gear coming out of an exit, then they skip second gear and they go straight to third gear. Why do they do that? Well, we're going to talk about it in this video, but before we talk about it, we have to talk about one specific thing, and that's car selection. So don't think that all these pro drivers, when you see top tens, that they're going from first to third in every single car. It really depends on the car and track combo. Now, I'm picking the VET because in most situations, the Corvette really, really does benefit from skipping second gear. And the reason why that is, is because it's such a high torque car and you shift this car, you know, maybe a little bit after mid RPM, you can get away with going into third gear out of a lot of exits as long as you trail break properly. So the benefit of doing this is that if you exit a slow turn in third, you're not going to get the back end to spin and you're also going to conserve more tire wear throughout the race. That's why you're doing this. It's those two exact reasons, but it's not all cars. Something like the Porsche that everyone's using on this track, second gear is so long and first gear is long. You can just go into second. It's pretty much almost bogging in second gear anyway. So this really only applies to certain cars. So remember that. So let's try with the Corvette. Let's try second gear. Okay. So what I want to do and remember this too, I'm going to give you another tip. I know this is technically one tip or one explanation, but I'm going to tell you something else. Always remember that when you go into first gear, you want to go into first gear around a lot of turns like this because you're trying to get the car to rotate. So the whole purpose of this is to go into first gear to get that nose pointed where you want, to get that car to rotate where you want, and then double shift up to third and accelerate early so you can have that nice smooth exit. So first gear is really being utilized to get that car to kind of snap in where it needs to be. So let me show you what I mean. And we're going to accelerate in second. Now watch how sloppy second gear is. Okay. So we're going to break. Go into first. Okay. Second. See that? And that, and I could have saved that. Now I could have saved that. I could have been a little bit smoother in second. I could have actually accelerated and been fine. But just me like going too slow and accelerating a little bit and trying to guide it, I was losing time doing that. If I just would have double shifted into third gear, I could have started, I could have started accelerating earlier and kind of, you know, had a nice smooth line without worrying about any tailspin. It makes it much more simple and much more consistent, right? So same thing, third gear. So here we go. First, let's get the nose where we want to be. Third gear, go early. Beautiful. Look at that. Look how nice and smooth that line is. And that, that could be way faster. You could late blip, you could late break, like trail break in real tight, upshift in the third right way, get on the throttle really, really soon and get like a nice smooth line. That's the purpose of doing this. The purpose is this way you can upshift and get a nice line and conserve as much tires as possible. Okay. So we're going to try this turn. Okay. We're going to try this turn right now and we're going to use second gear. Now watch the difference between second and third gear. So let's go into second. A little late there first, second gear, try to stay tight. Let me accelerate, look at the understeer, and look at the spin. You see that? It was, I was getting so pushed being in second gear, the understeer was causing me to go wide right there. And then as soon as I accelerated, because my tire was turned, it just, it was sloppy, right? That's, that's what happens when you accelerate in second gear a lot of times in the Corvette. All right, so let's do third. Second, first, get that car in. Accelerate early, look at that. Be that is beautiful. That was actually fast. That was honestly pretty quick. Second here, hug it tight, upshift in the third to get on it early. That's another trick right there. So in a situation where you feel like you're not tight enough on your line, you could downshift again into second to hug that line tighter, then upshift in the third to avoid that massive amount of understeer, and you can accelerate early again. All right, guys, one more thing before I go. So just because you've seen me exit in third gear in a lot of these turns, you'll see other people do that. That doesn't mean that all the time it's the fastest way to go in the Corvette or the Supra as an example. These are just ideas that you have that make it a little bit easier and smoother to drive. Now, honestly, even on this turn that you see ahead, if I take that in second and I do it 
just right perfectly and I accelerate and I just kind of get on the throttle, maybe like 25, 50, 75, 100, like nice and smooth, it's going to be faster accelerating in second gear. But it's just harder to do that consistently during a race or in a hot lap. It just makes it a little bit easier doing that double shift and trail braking, you know, adequately. So keep that in mind. This doesn't mean it's the fastest way per se, but it's definitely the most consistent way. And racing is about consistency. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Um, I love doing these kind of, you know, short tutorials. If you like it, please let me know in the comments. Let me know what you want to see next time. And we'll keep doing this. So until next time, have a good weekend, guys. I'll see you later. Take it easy, guys.